Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shaving with Rich. I'm excited about this episode today because I'm going to be introducing a new product. Um, actually, reviewing a new product. And that is the beard blanket right here. So everyone knows um, uh, when it comes to shaving, it's pretty important that the hair uh, that you, or whiskers that you shave off that they have sufficient amount of water that's put into them to plump them up to make them easier to cut. For that reason, a lot of people will shave right after they get out of the shower when they still have that, um, all the water that's been drawn into the whiskers and it's easier to cut, makes for a better shave. Um, anyways, for those of you that don't uh, shave that way, this is a really great way that you can, you know, draw some of that water in. So I'm going to demonstrate how this works. You, what's great is you can either do this before your shave with warm water. You can also do it after your shave with cold water for a post shave to tighten up the pores after you've done your post shave routine. Anyways, to do justice to this and to really try it out, to give it a fair shot, I actually grew out a fair amount of uh, beard growth here so we can put the beard blanket to the test. Um, the soap that I'm going to be using is going to be um, from a &E. Now this is, uh, we're actually going to be sending this in my group on Facebook. If you're not already a member of my group on Facebook, look in the description below and you'll be able to find a link so that you can come and join us. Um, we're going to be doing a um, pass around. So I'm going to use this soap today. It's called Barbary Sophisticado. I probably butchered the name. Anyways, it's a sophisticated barber shop. <laughs> That's what I take it for. Anyways, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to bowl lather it. Um, and we'll have a good time with it. I'm going to use that to take down all this growth. Um, anyways, so anyone that's interested in taking part in this pass around, if you are, you need to be in my group in Facebook, we're gonna do it just inside of the continental United States. Uh, anyway, so that, you know, uh, we don't have to send it internationally. Super expensive postage to do that, but this should be really great. Um, and we'll get to that. The razor that I'm going to be using is a Rex Ambassador. Um, I'm going to start out with it on setting six. It's got a first uh, brand new Permasharp blade in it. So setting six, you can see right there. So um, I haven't done any pre-shave or anything like that. Um, so we're just going to get into this and I'm going to show you how it works. The brush that I'm going to be using, let me rinse out some of this, is going to be, uh, it's been soaking, it's my Rich Man Shaving Brush with an F1 Innovator. I'll give you a better look here. An F1 Innovator, I love this knot, it's fantastic. So let's set this aside. I'm going to be using... Uh, this bowl today and let me just take out a little bit of uh, soap from here really quickly all right set this here to me this is a very fresh and clean barbershop scent um, I'm just going to take a little bit out right here drop it into the bowl and uh, we'll go from there. That way uh, it'll just be better for everybody to do that. There we go. Once I have the lather made up, then I'm actually gonna show you one way that I think that isn't such a bad idea. If you're rushed for time, you can actually 
Here, let's just do that. While I'm making the lather, <laughs> to save a little bit of time, what I'm gonna do is put this under really hot water, apply it to my face while I'm making my lather. It should be pretty fun. So and maybe I'll even fast forward it or raise the speed of it in the shave. I think that's a good idea. So let me go ahead and do that. Get some really, really hot water. That's how I do it. That's gonna open up the pores. Then I just run this underneath and let it take in some of that hot water. On the inside, this is what it looks like. There we go. And you just put it right here on your face. All right, so I'm taking that off. This is drawing some moisture uh, right there, but just to make it a little bit better. I'm gonna reach down into my bowl, <clears throat> and I'm gonna do this one more time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And I'm just gonna put this into a uh, little bit of soap, shaving soap, right here. And then I'm going to put the blanket over it one more time. All right. Good. So we got that. Go ahead. Get this. All right, just a little bit extra on that. Rinse this out again. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna wring it out a little bit. Get that water out of it. And I'm gonna set it just out of the way. And then we're gonna get down with our shave. And I'll use that after the shave as a post shave with cooler water. So now that I've got this uh, lather built right here, I'm just gonna work that in a little bit. <laughs> I got lather flying all over the place over here. Now this is actually the formulation for this uh, product, A and E. I think Peter is up to like formulation number twelve now, and I believe this is formulation ten, if I remember right. It was actually given to me from someone in the group, Bo, one of my friends in the group. Uh, to do it was a pass round for the group. So, anyways, this will look good. All right. Let's see what this uh, razor can do. All right. Rex Ambassador setting number six. Let's start right here, actually. There you go. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? 
I forgot to fill up my sink with water. That's how I normally shave. Let me go ahead and do that right now. But just so you guys don't have to hear the, you know, water going and stuff, let me cut back in. All right. So if I zoom in, it's gone. <laughs> it's pretty good for a first pass. So is it working? It appears to be working. Uh, let's actually, all right, take a look here. One single pass. All right. Looks like I got a little spa right there. All right, we're ready for pass number two. Let's just take some right from the brush. Nice. I've got more. We got more, but it's just important that we get that nice layer here. Just, we're gonna try out the slickness of the soap. There we go. I did get a tiny spot here as well. <clears throat> no, what I could do is I could adjust this down to four. I usually never do this. I'm trying to do it with one hand. There we go. Maybe, uh, I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but because I'm used to shaving with aggressive razors. slickness is still there um before i i've shaved with uh a and e soaps uh with only the residual slickness any anyway, i put the soap on my face i wiped it off and i only used the residual sleep
do some cleanups. I'll pull from the brush. <laughs> There we go. This should be fun. So this one right here actually looks like it might need a little bit of alum because it just wants to kind of keep keep bleeding. So alum block. That's all it takes. <laughs> All right, post-shave routine. <clears throat> Here's what we're gonna do. Gonna use some of this post-shave right here, after splash. Nice. I'll let that dry for just a moment. And then I'm going to get this nice and cold. apply it cold Boom. Filled pretty good. It, like that that felt pretty good to have that nice cold rag on my face. Close up the pores a little bit. My skin feels good. Nice. Alright. So there you have it. That is the beard blanket. What do I think about it? Well, it's still early. Um if you already are showering, 
right before, then that's kind of doing what this is intended to kind of do. And honestly, I think you can't beat, you know, you can't, getting it straight out of the shower, I mean like right out of the shower, you're probably gonna be as hydrated as, as you can get um, from like a hot shower. So, uh, but this is a, a great thing to do. In fact, I like that I can use it hot or cold. I like the feeling on the post shave to use it cold. Um, for me, I like that. And to be honest, I'm probably going to try this. Um, maybe one of the times that I shave next, maybe next shave, uh, I'll, sh you know, shower. And I'm just going to put this on in the shower and see if that improves uh, the effect there. And I'll just let hot water run right onto the mask. Um, and I'm just curious to see how that works. But do I think that it's worth a try? Um, yeah, I mean, if this seems to you like a good idea and you're curious to try it, why not give it a shot? I'm going to actually leave a link in uh, the description below so you can go and check out everything about it. Read up for yourself. Um, I'm new to this product, but you know, we spend a fair amount of money trying all kinds of things and maybe this will be something that you just enjoy doing. Maybe you'll like the feeling of that heat on your face. Maybe you'll like, like it as a post shave, uh, putting that extra cold on your face. Maybe this is something for you. Um, it may not be for everybody. Um, but then again, it's, it's just shaving is a, a lot about finding out what works for you. There's so many variables when it comes to shaving, whether it's, you know, a particular kind of razor or if it's a certain kind of brush or your favorite soap, et cetera, et cetera you know, on and on and on. Um, and the great thing is we get to try out all these products. So if this looks like something, as I've demonstrated, that you're interested in, then click the link below. I'm leaving it in my description. And I may continue to use uh, this product, uh, and you may see it in my upcoming videos. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to uh, click the link below to go to my Facebook group, Rich Man Shaving Group. Uh, join, take part in uh, this pass around. I'll have it posted in my group and people will just sign up. Um, and if you're new to the group and you can't find it, just ask someone. There's 2,200 and something of us in there. A lot of guys uh, that will just very happy and willing to help answer any of your questions that you have about wet shaving whatsoever. It's an awesome place, very friendly place, a positive place. Uh, it's fun. And we'll see you uh, in the next video. Bam. Rich Man Shaving, I'm out.